Grameen Bank is famous for transforming the economic lives of the poor in Bangladesh. From the 19th floor of its Dhaka headquarters, its sister company, Grameen Shakti, is doing the same for access to electricity for the 100 million Bangladeshis who are not connected to the grid. And in the last two years, it's also had huge success introducing other sustainable technologies. Grameen Shakti won an Ashton Award in 2006 for its work and is the winner of the 2008 Outstanding Achievement Award. At the time of the 2006 award, Grameen Shakti had installed 65,000 systems, but now it's installed over 150,000. Since 2006, if you see our map, we have at that time around 200 branch services. Right now we have 400, it's double in the network and also the installation rate. In 2006, 2,000 systems per month. Now we're installing more than 6,000 systems per month. So is a, every year we're breaking our record is a exponential growth. Key to its success is the Grameen Shakti network. Through its regional offices and local branches, it not only promotes its technologies, but makes them affordable by carefully calculating loans with a realistic payback period. Staff are locally recruited so they have links with the communities they work in. And word has now spread to every district of Bangladesh of the new possibility of life with electricity. A solar system means a developed life. Because of it, life is easier. We can do sewing and our children can study with the solar light. We don't have to go to a distant place to charge the mobile phone. We can do it at home. It has also opened Grameen Technology Centres, where new solar users are taught how to get the most from their systems, and technicians are trained in maintenance and how to assemble components locally. Supplies used to come to us from Dakar, which took a long time, and sometimes people had to wait for their solar power systems to be installed. But now, thanks to Grameen Technology Centres, everything is available all the time. In Bangladesh, it's rare for a woman to be seen alone outside the home, even less have a job. But Grameen Shakti has trained over 1,000 technicians, and most of them are women. Lots of people are curious about my work. For them, it seems very difficult and unusual for an uneducated rural woman. And they ask me, how did you learn this work? And I tell them I learned it here at this Grameen Technology Centre. She produced around uh, 30 pieces per day. So earning in a month is around 7,000 taka, is around 100 US dollar. We are involving women 100%. At the same time, we are training the women to uh, spread this technology in the community level. Some of the trained technicians have now become solar entrepreneurs. Working from home, they are able to earn a good wage assembling parts and providing local customer service. They are, in effect, mini franchise holders to spread the Grameen Shakti brand. It's really satisfying. I like it when all the installation is finished. The charge controller shows the electricity is connected and the light comes on. It's a pleasure for me because I was the one who made it happen. <laughs> With 150,000 solar units installed to date, rural business is also being transformed. The village market, we have a lot of shops, no electricity here. So we put solar home system, now they have another four hours, five hours, extension of working hours, and they run a television and also lights. This is the income generation, they are renting light to other neighboring shops. At the end of three years, they become the owner of the system, and they can continue for 25 years, 30 years. Before we had light, my daily takings were 1,500 taka. Now I'm making an extra thousand every day. But the spread of solar power systems may soon be overtaken by the improved cooking stove. Most people in Bangladesh and the developing world cook on an open fire or a traditional stove like this. The smoke and heat cause health problems for mothers and children. Everything is coated with soot and there's often a steep monthly firewood bill. But after talking to other Ashton Award winners at the 2006 ceremony, Deepal Barua decided to introduce a better stove to Bangladesh. These stoves use half the fuel and take smoke and heat safely out of the kitchen. And they cook faster too. The stoves are cheap, only 700 taka or five pounds. And within six months, the cost of the stove is paid back in fuel savings. 
There's no smoke, no blackening and no heat. Before that it was so troublesome, frustrating and tiring. Now it's good, no health problems. The stoves are also popular with small businesses, like this roadside restaurant. As well as saving on firewood, customers prefer to eat in a smoke-free environment. There's a real need for this technology, and thanks to the existing Grameen Shakti Solar Energy Network, the organisation has been able to move fast. So we can minimise the cost, same infrastructure for the solar we can use for the uh, improved cooker stove also. So we started just uh, one year before, now we install 15,000. I think this is a big future waiting for us and I would like to build uh, within seven, eight years another 10 million uh, improved cooker stove in Bangladesh. For those with a few cattle, there is another option on offer, a biogas system that produces clean burning methane from cow dung. With biogas on tap all the time, there's no need for fuel wood at all. And for farmers, the byproduct, organic residue, is a great fertilizer. It replaces expensive chemicals and is reported to improve crop yields. In this fish farm, it's even used instead of fish feed. Before, in six months, a fish would grow to about 250 to 330 grams. And now it's about 500. The output of the larger biogas plants is enough for the surplus to be sold on by piping it to neighbouring houses. Everybody wins as the neighbours save on fuel wood and their payments for gas cover the biogas owners' costs. Grameen Shakti's unique community-based business model puts affordable energy within the reach of the world's poor when many would think it impossible. We have to try, and it's doable, from our experience, in Bangladesh, one of the developing country, poor country, but still we are doing fine, and it is a viable, it is a green energy. We are contributing to the planet. I advise, try to figure out what are the difficulties and solve one by one, and they can develop the program in other countries.